digital romance, TV. Welcome to Digital Romance TV. I'm Donna Barnes, and in this clip I'm going to talk to you about being submissive to keep your man. And I wanted to talk to you about this because Candace Cameron Bure, who used to be on Full House when she was a little girl, recently came out and said that the reason her 17-year-old 17 17-year 17 marriage has been successful is because she's chosen to be submissive to her husband. And I think submissive is kind of a hot button word and a lot of people reacted to it and quite frankly Good Morning America had me come and talk about it but they only used like one little sentence that I used and I had so much to say on the topic so that's why I thought I'd make a video about it so um, in some ways that's a really positive and helpful choice to make a relationship healthy but I think it's the term that is throwing people off I think in a healthy relationship couples naturally negotiate to take the lead on one thing or another and that's healthy that's what makes a relationship work so I don't think you need you can call it whatever you want but to create harmony opposites attract on a masculine feminine energy level and we all have a masculine or feminine energy depending that has nothing to do with our gender and if you're a really masculine energy woman which quite frankly I live in New York City there's an awful lot of masculine any energy women here that run their own businesses and are very successful in their career and then they have a hard time letting that go when they come home to their also masculine energy man because that's what they're attracted to so what I'm trying to say is if you're attracted to a kind of man that you have great respect for who's a leader who's very confident in who he is and very successful in his career then once you get into a relationship with him, if you're lucky enough to, then you need to allow him to be who he is. I tell my successful female clients all the time, let your man be the man. And, and that doesn't mean that you're submissive, and it doesn't mean that you're not getting your needs met. Hopefully you are. But I think if you trust him to take the lead, then allow him to. And I think that'll give him the comfort to want to take care of you and want to protect you and keep you safe. And that doesn't make you weak if you want to allow your man to make you feel safe. Actually, that's a really healthy relationship. So what I'm trying to say is I think how you are in the world is different than how you are with the person that you fall in love with. And I think you naturally negotiate how you're going to coexist because you most definitely don't want to start competing with your partner. As soon as you start competing, you're going to kill the love that you have for each other. I think play sports if you're competitive. Do other things to feed that desire to compete, but never ever compete with your partner. It's really unhealthy and it's going to drive a wedge between you. So the topic of should you be submissive or not is also a personal choice. I think if you want to take the lead and you always want to be leading, I'm speaking to women, in a relationship, then you need to seek out a feminine energy man. And that doesn't mean a feminine. It just means maybe he's a little bit more of the creative type, a little more passive types, so more than happy to let you take the lead and do things like that. I think that's the kind of man you need to choose if you want to be the lead on things. And if you don't, if you're not attracted to that kind of man, then you really do need to do some soul searching and find a way to be comfortable not having to lead and not having to have control. Really, it's control, right? Control is, is what we all are so afraid not to have. You're so afraid not to have the control. And I've heard that people say, he who has the most power wins, you know, the upper hand in the relationship. But that's not a healthy relationship. And to allow yourself to be vulnerable to your partner is what will allow you to have the greatest love that you've ever had and experience really true love. You need to be vulnerable to experience love. So if you fall in love with a man who's powerful and confident and successful, then trust him and respect him and allow him to lead. Now that doesn't mean on everything. Maybe certain things you're better at and maybe he's even happy to let you lead on a lot of things. I'm sure he doesn't want to lead on everything. If he's leading all day at work, he probably wants you to lead on a few things when he's not at work. So what I'm just suggesting is, is give it a little bit of thought 
And for all you single ladies out there who've had a hard time keeping successful men, it might be because you're competing with them too much. It might be because you're not allowing your man to be the man. So give him the lead. Call it submissive or not, whatever you want to call it. But um, get your needs met. I'm not suggesting in any way whatsoever that you default to him and then you never get your needs met. That's not what I'm saying at all. But, um, you know, they say behind every successful man, man is a powerful woman. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. I think you stroke his ego and make him feel powerful and confident and loved. And I think he's naturally then going to want to take care of you and make you happy for making him feel so good about himself. I'm Donna Barnes for Digital Romance TV.